सो ही गाइज वॉट्स एंड पेस रेडी हियर एंड वेलकम बैक टू इन दर एक्साइटेड वीडियो एंड आई एम हियर इन टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर विथ एन अमेजिंग वीडियो ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शेयर ऑल ऑफ माई टूल्स विच आई यूज टू क्रिएट ऑल द विजुअल इफेक्ट विच यू हैव सीन माई प्रोफाइल आई विल डिवाइड दिस वीडियो इन टू पार्ट फर्स्ट पार्ट विल बी द हार्डवेयर सेक्शन वेयर आई विल शो यू ऑल द हार्डवेयर जस्ट लाइक द कैमरा एंड द पी सी मोनिटर एंड दिस चेयर in the second section actually i will share all the tools just like what tools i use in my pc or laptop to create all the visual effect so yeah without any more delay let's get started this amazing video so yeah let's get started but before that uh, please subscribe our channel so that we can achieve 100k as soon as possible so yeah let's get started this video so first uh, before moving next i would like to share uh, the chairs and i will mention all of my tools links in my video description so you can go there and check it so yeah let's get started so first so here you can see this is the chair which i use to sit will working and this is from green shawl so if i'll rotate this you can see this is not bad this is definitely a good one but i will not say the best but yeah right now i'm using this from one year and it's working very good all right so i have two setups one this is my main setup which you can see right now on the screen and that that one is my second setup so first let's talk about this one then we will move to the second part so let's go over here and this is the laptop which i use and i have a dedicated video on my channel which you can go there and check it about this laptop what are the configuration but roughly i will mention on the screen what are the configuration uh yeah this one is i'm using from one year and it's working very great this is a stand which i bought around 89 rupees around 1 dollar to you know uh you know simply hold my phone and this is the speaker which you can see and uh, i'll mention the links in my video description and this is the keyboard from red gear this is not the best one but yeah i am using it from a couple of month and it's it is very good this is the mouse from hp and i will mention the exact product name in my video description i am using it around 3 years and it's amazing guys it's really really amazing and then this is the my new monitor which i bought around 2 to 3 months ago it's from venq uh, this is a 27 inch 2k monitor and it's amazing guys so yeah this is the my main setup a laptop a benq monitor and this keyboard mouse and this small sound bar okay and there is a couple of artificial plants which i <laughs> try to use in my setup and these are currency holding box currencies you can see there there are a couple of coins and also i have a small diary which i used to note all my you know uh, important stuff this is a small purse gifted from an amazing purser inside a ky and this is a uh, again a small box to hold few stuff and this is a glass which i typically use when i working i have another one from a uh, lens cart so yeah this is the my main setup and let's move to the second one so this is a mic from snowball like 50 dollar around 50 dollar and i bought it around 6 years ago and i am using till yet and this is amazing this one is also i bought in around 2018 a keyboard from jebronix and this one is good for me and still i am using it and this is a, another mouse which i bought recently from red gear and it's good and this is the monitor which i am using from a couple of years and this is now my uh, in previous this is my main primary monitor but now i set up this whole system like this monitor a keyboard and this you know pc as a secondary monitor, monitor to render all of my artworks mostly i spent my time for creating all the works and uh, that is for the rendering Uh, this is a diffuser which i bought uh, from amazon and uh, this is good and it's around 1000 rupees i guess and uh, this is my light uh, the key light from godox sl60 with a soft box 
which I will mention in my video description you can go there and check it and this is a secondary light so yeah these are the things which I am using right now and definitely you can go there and check these things let's jump to the software stuff what are the software which I use to create artworks and yeah let's go main 3d software so my main primary 3d software is blender and the reason why I started learning blender the biggest advantage is it's free I can start learning it without worrying about the subscription fee or any type of costing second big reason cycle render engine because it's real path tracing render which gives us most accurate and most realistic result without paying any extra rupees or any extra dollar blender also comes with a bonus render engine which is ev whenever you are working for a client or doing any task and you want to get a decent quality of render just to visualize and check how your overall artwork is looking you can definitely go with the ev to check and once you are ready or you are, once you satisfy you can move to the cycle for the final rendering so ev is faster than cycle and it's really good for the quick stuff it's also capable to do everything like modeling texturing lighting rigging animation dynamics and it has more than this like the new stuff geometry node so geometry node is an amazing update which comes recently into blender where you can do a task with a different approach so it's really good one more amazing thing inside blender it's upgrading daily so if we see something new into our industry i believe the development team of blender are ready to acquire ready to apply those things in blender as soon as possible so it's really good for us if we have a software where it's upgrading daily and the community it has an amazing community online if you stuck anywhere you can find a lots of video post articles and there are tons of artists which will help you even i am an artist and whenever i got any query from someone i try my best to help so yeah it has everything just like other software but these are the main things which motivates me to started learning blender the next stuff is add-ons i don't use multiple or too many add-ons i have a couple of and which i will mention over here from polygonic i use two products first is botonic so whenever i try to add nature into my scene and or whenever i feel i have to add greenery into my artworks that time i use botonic i have a couple of videos on my youtube channel so you can go there and learn it and the second product from polygonic is traffic so whenever i want to use a vehicle inside my program i use traffic and uh, it has you know already rigged models which i can use so for the destruction stuff i always use rbd lab because it's provide a lot of control and it has too many tools to get started and create things very easily from previous year i started using blender kit so whenever i want to download 3d models texture or hdri immediately inside blender that time i use blender kit i just have to type the name in the search box and it will provide me all the free assets and the paid assets and i can choose one from them and i can use it immediately so these are the couple of add-ons which i use inside blender so once you complete your artwork and move to the compositing part whenever i create anything inside blender i try to export into several passes just like ao shadow catcher and color or few more so after that i try to use a compositing software to composite all these things into my real world footage for visual effect and even to enhance my artworks when i work only for 3d stuff so when i started my journey as a designer from that time till yet i am using after effect and from the previous years around more than five years i used after effect and element 3d completely I did not use any other 3D program. I always try to do all the stuff inside After Effects and Element 3D. And if you will go and check my previous tutorials on this channel, you will find a lots of videos related to After Effects and Element 3D. I have an old relation with After Effects. That's why I am using After Effects. But it's up to you whatever you want to use. So for the plugins, I mostly use FX Console just to search stuff more quickly and element 3d sometime to use uh, 3d stuff inside after effect 
But previously I was using Red Giant tools, video compiler tools just like Saber, Optical Flare, Element 3D, FX Console and so more. So these are the things with After Effects. Let's move to the video editing part. So I am using Adobe Premiere Pro at the moment to edit all of my tutorials and also adding sounds to my videos or my reels. So I'm not using any extra plugin here. I have a tool from AEJuice which has a lot of stuff which I use sometime to do my work faster and easy way. Access library. For all these things I mostly use free stuff. Just like if I need 3D models I go with the Sketchfab and I download all the 3D models. For textures I try to look online free options. For HDR I mostly I use Polyhaven. For the video stuff, for the footage stuff. I mostly prefer to shoot myself so whenever I have to shoot something I do travel and shoot videos according to my concepts then I work on that and the next thing is recording stuff so this is not useful for everyone so this is the part which I use to record my tutorials or for my clients OBS is the tools it, it's free you can use it record your screen and Adobe Audition is the tool which I use for the audio recording. So yeah these are all the tools and software which I use to create and do all of my artworks. So it's not necessary it's totally up to you whatever you are using and whatever it's convenient to you it's good for you. So these are the things which I am using over the years and these are the tools which I use in my workflow to do all the artworks. So I don't know in future if I will include something or if I will change a few things to enhance my work more efficient way because you know technology are changing time to time. So definitely we have to go you know uh, change our way time to time. So yeah these are not necessary you can use any 3D program whatever you feel comfortable just like you can use Cinema 4D there are many amazing artists out there who are using Cinema 4D, Houdini, 3ds Max, Maya so it's totally up to you just keep learning and keep working whatever program you are using just keep upgrading your skill. I hope you really enjoy this video and I hope now we have all the information about the hardware and software which I use to create visual effect or any kind of artwork. So one thing I forget to mention about my camera. So I will capture few. Where is my smartphone? Let me let me let me capture now. So here I am turning the you can see the broken screen and this is another tool which I try to shoot all my you know videos most of the time. And let me switch on the camera. Yeah. So this is the camera right now which I am filming and it's from Sony you can see and it has around 16mm Sigma lens and another mic which I use time to time it's from Rode. So yeah these are the tools and I hope these are good. So I have not the best tools yet but I have pretty much a decent setup for everything for uh, shooting the video for working and also for the rendering. I have not achieved this in just one to two years around I spent around six to seven years to uh, you know grow myself and also grow my you know upgrade my all setup. So I hope this video will motivate you as a beginner and if you are uh, working and if you are in the process of this freelancer journey or in the artist journey these things I hope it will really motivate you to keep uh, doing your stuff. Uh, yeah so that's it from my side. I hope you really enjoy this video and if this is the case please hit the like button, subscribe on the channel and leave a beautiful comment whatever you feel from this video. I am NPS3D and I will see you next time with an amazing tutorial. Until then keep working, keep smiling and bye bye take care.